Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we'll be uh, looking at um, kinematics of machines, some topics from kinematics of machines. And uh, I'll be uh, doing some series of videos in which we'll be looking at some important topics from uh, kinematics of machines as well as dynamics of machines. So this will be the lecture one. And uh, the topics for today are going to be uh, what is kinematics and uh, what exactly is a mechanism and what is a machine. So we'll be looking at some examples for each of it. And um, as it moves forward, I, I hope that you remember this class uh, in, in a, a good way. So uh, what exactly is kinematics? Now, when we uh, when we uh, look at the definition of kinematics, it goes like this. So, it is the study of motion apart from taking into consideration the forces which are producing that motion. So, we are neglecting the forces which are producing that motion and we are only uh, studying about the uh, motion. So, uh, to be exact, the study of position, displacement, velocity, acceleration. These, the study of these topics are may be called as kinematics. Okay, so uh, let me give you a, an, an analogy so that you will be able to uh, remember it uh, when you think about kinematics rather than just uh, uh, by hearting this definition. Uh, you can uh, maybe remember it with this analogy. Yeah, so let me give you a good analogy for uh, remembering kinematics. Okay, what exactly it means. So in kinematics, when I'm punching this, punching that, the force which is causing this one to move is not being considered. Only what is being considered? The displacement, the velocity with which it is moving, the acceleration with which it is moving. So this is a reciprocating motion which is being converted into a, a rotary motion. Right. So here what happened? The force is not being considered. What matters though is only the velocity and yeah. So moving forward, uh, what is a mechanism? Now uh, I have seen people getting confused with mechanism and a machine. Uh, and uh, mostly they think that it is the same. But what exactly is uh, a mechanism? A mechanism by definition can be an assemblage of resistant bodies. Resistant bodies are rigid bodies which are connected by uh, movable joints and which form a closed kinematic chain and with uh, one link fixed and it transforms motion. So that is the uh, purpose of mechanism. It, it is transforming one motion into another. Maybe a reciprocating motion into rotary or rotary motion into a reciprocating motion or a rectilinear motion into a rotary motion. So that is called as a mechanism. So it is a closed con uh, chain uh, of kinematic links which transforms motion. So let us again see uh, what all are the examples that comes to our mind and which are commonly available at your house. You look around and I found something which is commonly available at my place. So let's see some mechanism which, which are there commonly at our home, uh, which you can easily remember. When I tell you a slider crank mechanism or a you know, four bar chain, you might not be able to uh, remember correctly what I am uh, uh, trying to tell you. Right, so uh, let us see. What is there around? Oh, I spilled some water over here. Let me just clean it. Yeah. So, I'm cleaning the water. Now, over here, I have this mechanism, this mop that is commonly seen at our home. I can just put it over there. And, and I'm pushing it, this rotates. So what is happening over here? The reciprocating motion, reciprocating motion of this one is getting converted into a rotary motion. So uh, as you can see over here, what it does, it helps me extract water from it. Yes, yeah, so this is, this is such a simple mechanism, you see this slides over till here 
and with that motion is that motion is being converted into a rotary motion over it. Simple mechanic, right? So a motion, a transformation of motion is happening from one reciprocating motion to a rotary motion. So um, now moving forward, what is a machine? What comes to your mind when you uh, hear the word machine? Now, there are a lot of stuff, right? When you uh, think about a machine, anything can be a machine. A car is a machine. A, a mixer grinder or a fridge or a TV is a machine. So all of these things are machines. So in kinematics, how is it uh, defined? So in uh, kinematics, a machine is a mechanism or a combination of mechanisms which together um, imparts definite motion to the parts as well as it transmits and modifies energy and uh, gives out a desirable work so what is a machine machine gives us a desirable work it uh, it uh, transforms energy it uh, has imparts definite motion between its links right and it is a combination of mechanisms or a single mechanism right so what all examples comes to your mind when you think about a machine now that you can see this robot over there is a it's a machine a machine it, it is a complex machine right so in order to make this kind of a robot it takes you know a lot of effort you no know, kinematics of machines can be a building point for uh, robotics uh, and mechatronics so um i hope that uh, this kinematics of machines uh, subject can motivate you to study uh, and become a uh, an expert in uh, robotics later on yes so uh, a machine what comes to our mind uh, what example can i give you for a machine maybe a gun is a good example it transforms motion uh, uh, reciprocating motion is converted into a rotary motion where the bullet is rotating and going to the front uh, or a hand pump you can see in the old uh, villages and all you have seen the hand pumps where you pump the water and as you as you pump that motion gives you extracts water for you so that is a good example for a uh, a machine or a car is a good example where uh, your uh, ic engine uh, reciprocating motion of your piston is converted into rotary motion of your uh, tires or wheels so um, that is how um, that is what is the example of a machine yeah i don't have to exactly show you right an, an example of a machine it's, so this is a car it's my son's car so you can see uh, so if it was it if it had an engine right so or it has a motor so the motor is working inside and uh, which is getting converted so it can, can call it as a machine yes so uh, i have taken only this many of topics in today's lecture so uh, we will be dealing with more and more uh, topics later on and we'll try to uh, i'll try to keep it as simple as possible and uh, as interesting as possible uh, thank you please like share and subscribe for more videos and keep commenting so that i know uh, what you feel about the video thank you